out None of it makes sense, there's no reason why Why I should fall back to you? video then you're part of the one percent of the population who's absolutely lost their mind why would you want one of these things i can use him as a microphone his nose is even black except he does um nothing for the sound quality If you wanted one of these dogs, you can have a staring contest. They're very, you will lose. And this is what I deal with all day long. And then one gets me from the front, and then the other one gets me from the back. Queen! Queen! Okay. And then Ivy will come. And this is what it's like to have a border collie. And then you'll get all disgusting. And I like to wear black. Very dumb of me. I should buy white clothes. And then it would, then I'd have nasty stains from their paws from going outside. Man, see Ivy's the worst. I'll tell you why Ivy's the worst. Because not only will she jump you, and not only will she annoy you, not only will she do the same things that Joker does, but she's goobery. Now Border Collies usually aren't goobery. Ivy's just one of those special cases, right? Hey, Ivy, no. Try to get through this video of why you'd want one of these creatures in your house so why would you want one of these creatures and they're annoying that stinky cod breath it's my fault stop i can't i can't you guys need to go lay down stop You know, there's only one way to get rid of a border collie, and that's if you blow on them. <laughs> so. Don't talk to me that way. So I blew on him, so. I'm going to start off by they're incredibly, incredibly annoying. But why would you want to get one of these amazingly annoying animals? Um, I can think of a couple that you probably already know. They're cute. They're intelligent. But that cuteness in... That cuteness and intelligence can get you in trouble. So Joker knows how to swindle me. He knows exactly what to do to get my attention. He knows exactly what to do to get his way. That's what they say when they tell you, because I'm sure if you're looking at my video, then you've already done your somewhat of your research or you're doing your research right now by coming here with this. Uh... Okay. You're coming here to listen to some crazy border collie lady. And I see, I didn't just go with border collies. No, no, no. I had to get a Husky too. It's cuckoo. Why would we do such a thing, sir? I'm gonna try to keep him somewhat engaged while I talk because I lose my train of thought because you don't let me speak. So, see Quinn is a little angel, but trust me, Quinn does this too, guys. Quinn does this too. Okay, so, reason number one why you would wanna get a Border Collie is they are incredibly intelligent animals. Um, as you can see, Joker knows that I find this very cute and I put up with it constantly, and this is a battle of the fittest here. So, um, and he knows not to go too far, like, okay, maybe he doesn't, he'll go far. <laughs> but he knows I find it very cute, so I just put up with it naturally. And if you get a Border Collie, why wouldn't you think this is cute, that your dog loves you this much? Because trust me, cat, cats aren't doing this to their people. Cats are like, hey, I'm hanging out with you, we're doing a chill day, and that's gonna be the end of it. 
So here comes Quinn to join the pack. So, right Quinn? Oh my gosh. <laughs> they all do it, guys. Yep. <laughs> There's no difference from, well, here's the difference. Joker's incredibly large and Quinn is small and fun size. <laughs> That's the difference. Quinn has a little bit more reserve. And, you see, you just never know. I'm talking good about her and then she goes and tries to bite me in the lips. So, come here, go in. Okay, maybe you can stay here and, and explain to people why they shouldn't get a border collie. No, no, all right, all right, I need to go. <laughs> so, um, they are incredibly intelligent dogs. They're the number one most intelligent dog there is. I'll tell you why that is. Because border collies, they know how to work things. They will figure it out. Um, they will figure out how to open their crate. They will figure out how to guys I'm, I'm gonna just start over here okay they will figure out how to open their crate they will figure out how to never listen to you even though they listen very well so they will figure out how to open the door they will figure out how to herd your children they will figure out how to slap you in the face they will figure out how to not let you make videos for YouTube and get you in trouble with all the fans so I've noticed that a lot of other people on YouTube, they made a similar video to this one, but they didn't have border collies in the videos. They just kind of were trainers who talked about um, why you shouldn't get this breed and why they're um, not really good for beginners. And I'm here to say that I believe this breed can be a good beginner dog. If you're somebody who really likes to do things with their dog, who likes to hang out with their dog, I mean, do a lot of things, um, not just go for a walk. If you're just trying to get a dog go for a walk. There are a lot of other breeds that'll do that. Um, and probably a herding breed isn't gonna be one of those dogs. However, if you like to take your dog on a walk, if you like to trick train them, if you like to spend every moment with them, that's Navi. She is not happy. She's always out. Um, so if you just like to spend every waking minute, <laughs> every waking minute with your dog in front of your face like this, and this doesn't bother you guys, then a border collie is for you. If you love smelling dog breath constantly, every single day, then a border collie is for you. <laughs> um, so yeah, they, the guys, they do need a lot of exercise. Um, they, they need that. However, it's not always about exercise. I have found that there are days where I can, you know, I've brought the dogs down to the barn and we did a whole barn day and they still were um, very much needy. Like this is very needy, that they're a very needy breed. Um, So, all right, Joker, come on. <laughs> yeah. Very good, buddy. So, uh, they're a very needy breed. They want to be with you a lot. They want your attention. They want you to engage with them. They're constantly looking for you to do something with them. Um, so, yeah, if you're just looking to take them on a walk, that's not good. But if you love training tricks, doing frisbee, um, I mean, these dogs used to go to work with me all day long, every day, five days a week. They love that. They love a job. Um, if you're somebody who's never had a dog before, but like, that's why you want a dog. You want to give it a job. You want to do everything with it. You could care less about Friday nights with your friends. You want Friday nights with the Frisbee or Friday nights in the pool with your dog. If that is a good thing. Then you should probably consider a border collie if that's what you really want. Um, number two, uh, Everybody always asks, are they okay with children? Um, well, it depends. If you get a puppy, if you get a Border Collie puppy and you have small children and they grow together, is it probably gonna work out? Probably. They're not an aggressive breed by any means, but they're a hardworking breed. Now I can tell you, there's a difference. Ivy is a working line Border Collie, okay? Her, her generation is all working line. She has way more of a herding instinct than Harley and Quinn. So why is that? She was bred very, very much working dog. So with that being said, even though Ivy and Quinn have herding tendencies, they don't herd as much as Ivy will. Now Ivy, if she sees a small child running or a small animal, she will go into herding mode. And trust me, I can get her to do it right now. Watch this. Where's the kitty? Where's the kitty? Now she's gonna go look for all the potential cats. Where's the kitty? Where's the kitties? Where's the kitties? So Ivy developed 
about this um, when I had a cat many, many years ago. Um, and if you say that word around her, she will stop what she's doing and she will look for that cat to herd in. Um, that is how she is. If you watched um, probably my best video I ever did, um, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I forget what the title is, but it's got like 200,000 views. Anyway, it showed, you know, Border Collie stuff and Ivy's in there drooling over a cat, one of the cats I had. So, um, we're going to try to keep Joker away with the blowing on his face today. So, um, she literally will drool over a cat and she will go stiff and go limp. Um, if I take her to a pet store, um, like pet supermarket, they have like the little animals, like the little guinea pigs and the ferrets and those little squares. And she will stare at those squares, at those animals the whole time. She will not move guys. She will just stare and I can literally do all my shopping and then she will be there when I get back um, that you know so there are certain things now Joker won't do that um, Joker really doesn't care um, for little animals like if I have a ferret running around he's kind of like a Labrador in the aspect of like he'll kind of look at it for a second and then he'll be like oh all right it's just a little animal moving on not all border collies are like that guys um, Quinn doesn't care either she won't be bothered by it um, I actually had the ferrets running around her and she literally would oh my god oh my god can i film the video so so yeah she like will literally like get this ferret away from you guys um so they don't really have as much hurting tendencies as ivy so you know ivy's back to chewing that and i'm gonna do it again mr kitty Like if you get a border collie that's working line, you know, they have triggers. Um, and that's one of Ivy's triggers is the word kitty, if you didn't know that. Um, she's right here looking at the camera. She's like, what's going on? So, go ahead, go play. I was just kidding. I was just kidding, Claudia. I know. Look at the kitties. Where are they? Over there, over there. exhibit a so yeah um she is going to be in a mode now that i definitely sent her in and it's my fault so um that is something she has triggers forget it um the good thing about border collies is they can be redirected really easy as you can see i can get her to stop all right Abby, go lay down go lay down hey, go lay down um they do listen very well so that's that's a good thing but yeah um it depends on the breeder it depends on the border collie can you have small children? Yes, it's possible. Um, Ivy was kind of never really good around small children. Um, I do have a daughter. She'll be eight this uh, coming year in a few months. And um, Ivy had a real problem with that in the beginning. Um, it, when she was little and she was running around, Ivy would hunch down and get into her border collie mode. And um, But Ivy never really um, was never really bad. She never was a biter or a nipper. She would just go into hurting mode. Go, go, go. So um, that's something to consider that not all border collies will get to that level 10. Um, and now that Ivy's older, she's, she's fine. Like kids can be running around, little animals, you know, she, she's fine. She's not gonna do anything crazy. And the other border collies are fine with my daughter. Like they have no problems. So again, it depends on the dog. Um, but if you are going with a working line border collie and you, and you have small children, then I would definitely put in that extra work, that extra training. And a good thing to do with border collies is to have that off, um, that off command. So for mine, it's kind of go lay down. Um, when they're jumping on me guys and coming at my face, I'm letting it happen. If I wanted them to stop, I can tell them to stop. They will listen. They will not play games. Um, she just like got mad by herself. That was Quinn. She just got mad by herself. Um, so 
yeah, they um, they will stop. I'm definitely letting it happen because I love them and they know it's cute and whatever. It's really not cute. I get slobbery and, and whatnot. All right, another thing that people talk about is that Border Collies should only be on farms and they should only be in houses that have very large backyards. And I'm here to say that's just not true, guys. Um, Ivy, I did have a house when I got her and I was one of those people that listened to that um, stereotype whereas I waited till I had a big yard and a house to get her. However, my house that I moved from before I moved here was an apartment size, guys. Um, and there was a couple years when I was younger that I really didn't do everything that I probably should have done. And I'm here to say that Ivy was my first border collie and did I get it 100% right? No, I didn't. I really didn't always know what I was doing and I really didn't always do dog sports with her and I didn't always train her and I didn't always play frisbee in the backyard with her. And there was a lot of times where, <clears throat> you know, as a younger kid, I just wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. Did that ruin her? No, she's fine. She's living her best life right now. Um, you know, you don't have to have a massive backyard. You don't have to be a sheep owner <laughs> to have a border collie. You don't have to do those things. You don't have um, it's very possible, um, and I probably will get some hate for this, but it's very possible to have a border collie in an apartment. You just have to make sure you're doing what you're doing because here's what people don't tell you, and this is what I'm here to do. They will not tell you that if you don't do those things with your border collie, potentially they will become destructive and they will become really bad dogs. That is true. Um, if they don't get enough, they can potentially chew up things, um, and, to, and here's the biggest thing that they don't tell you. Yeah, they, any dog can be destructive. Nami can be destructive. A husky, Zelda was very destructive when she was a puppy. I mean, she chewed like $800 in cash. Kid you not, long story. Um, and Django, when, when he was alive, he was destructive. Any dog can be destructive. Um, the difference between Border Collies is that they can develop behaviors that you never saw coming because they're bored. And this is really where I want to get into the nitty gritty into this video. So Ivy, um, obviously with Joker and Harley Quinn, I had already been through this. Joker was my second border collie, Quinn's my third. Um, so obviously I already knew what I was doing, so I didn't let this happen. When Ivy was growing up, I, I trained her Frisbee. We trained her a lot of tricks. We did a lot of things. Um, we took her on vacations. We took her to the beach. We did a lot of things with her. However, there was probably a good couple years um, where I had to focus on other things and I really wasn't focused on her. And this is what happened. And it was when she was pretty young. I would say between one and two, which is like the most important time for a border collie in their life to learn how to live and how to um, deal with stress. So Ivy, being bored, um, she actually developed where she got terrified of the noise of a truck backing up. So like, you know when a truck backs up and it goes beep, beep, beep. If she hears that to this day, she will go into a complete and utter shutdown. So if she hears a truck backing up, she will collapse to the floor, start drooling, start shaking. She's terrified of that noise, guys. And that was because we left her in the house and when they would come get garbage at my old property, it was such a narrow street that they had to back up the garbage truck. And because there was nothing for her, nothing else for her to focus on, she became negatively focused on that. And because she developed that between the ages of one and two, um, I really can't take her in the car. If she sees it, she knows what they look like too. If she sees a big truck, here's a big truck. If they're backing up, it's game over for her and you're just putting her under an unnecessary stress. Now, ever since we moved here, I, she has stopped doing that because the, our house is very, very far from the road. This is where they get that stereotype of border collies should be on farms. Um, when I initially heard that, or when I initially kind of went back in my head and said, wow, this is why border collies should be on farms. Not necessarily because border, Joker and Harley Quinn, they don't have any negative personality traits at all. Cause I knew what I was doing. Um, by the time I got to Joker, I knew what I was doing. I exposed him to everything. Now, with that being said, that's not just a border collie thing, you guys. That is any dog thing. When dogs are puppies and they're growing up and they're learning, you have to put them in all kinds of situations to get them used to it. If you never put your puppy in the car and then when they get to a year old where they hurt their paw and they have to go to the vet and you put them in the car, it's not gonna be a good ride, you guys. It's going to be a scary ride. It's gonna put stress on the dog where you don't need that to happen. 
Um, you know, you have to put your dogs in situations. Now, another reason I think that Joker and Harley Quinn don't have a lot of those problems is because by the time Joker came around, I did everything. I threw, you know, threw cats at him, little kitties, right? We just threw them right at you, right, baby? <laughs> um, no, I brought cats around. I had birds. I had, took him to work every day. I introduced him to all kinds of people. Um, that was another thing with Ivy. She wasn't very trusting of people. She only liked me. In fact, Ivy actually bit a couple people in their face, not to where she drew blood, but she bit quite a few people in her day. She doesn't bite anymore. She's very sweet, but there are times where I've brought her to the vet and I've literally told my vet, hey, watch out, you can get bit, please don't get bit. Um, you know, so they can be temperamental, but if you do your homework, you guys, if you do everything with your dog, everything, don't leave your dog behind. If you can take your dog, take your dog. If your teacher allows your border collie in class, say, hey, Mrs. So-and-so, my border collie is really smart. We can get him a hat. We can bring him to class, bring him to class. I mean, do whatever it takes is what I'm saying. Um, because honestly, at the end of the day, you're just gonna have a much better companion. Your dog's gonna be happier. He's not gonna be scared. Um, and he's just gonna be much more tolerable to be around. So that's what they mean by um, border collies aren't really for people that kind of just sit on their couch. Because if you're someone who just sits on their couch and watches movies all the time and you never do anything, your border collie is going to figure something else out to do. And yeah, that could be as simple as chewing on the leg of the chair over there. Hey, that's not that bad. Any dog would do that if they're bored. But then they could also figure out, okay, at every day at four o'clock, a squirrel comes by the window. And if I'm not there to look out the window and see this squirrel, then, you know, I'm going to go to jail. And so what's going to happen is they're going to tear up your blinds and they're going to be fixated on a squirrel outside your window every single day. And then the squirrel's not going to want to live there anymore. And then he's going to lose all his nuts. <laughs> And it's just, okay. So, um, I was on a really funny story, buddy. You ruined it. So, um, yeah. So, you know, they're just going to figure things out like that. Or they'll figure out, like, every minute the clock changes. And then they'll start staring at your clock and going, oh, my gosh, it's going to change, you guys. So, yeah, it's just very important to do that. Um, they get bored. They are... <laughs> They get bored, Navi. So do huskies. See, like Navi's over there, like, hey, this is a border collie video. We will do a husky one, ma'am. So, um, yeah. So it's just one of those things, you guys. But to sum it up, yes, you can have a border collie in an apartment. You can have, you know, you don't have to live on a dairy farm. You don't have to have a herd of sheep they can be in an apartment, in my opinion. Now, that is if, like I said, you're very committed um, to doing those things with your dog. Um, because really, you don't need a big space. Like, my living room is perfectly big enough for me and my Border Collie to learn some new tricks right in here. Um, and like I said, I have taken them to the farm all day long and they have a much better time just learning new things. Um, do they need exercise? Absolutely, well, they do. Um, but if I were to sit in here right now and train the Joker something new, um, for about a you know an hour and then let a couple hours go by he would lay on the floor until I come back and then a couple hours later we would go back to training that trick so if I did that a few times a day with him I gave him plenty of enrichment toys Kongs with peanut butter um, you know and then took him out and played frisbee with him for a little while he would be just fine you guys you know like when I um, when Joker was a puppy I would just bring him everywhere and that was enough you know I would just I would bring him to the barn I would, uh, after work, I'd bring him to work all day. You know, he just, he was fine, you know? He doesn't really even know a lot of tricks and he is just fine. Needy, annoying, but fine. You're fine, so. <laughs> so, are you gonna be done with this? You are the most distracting border collie. Cause the girls can, you know, do this for like two minutes and then move on with their day. So, Mm -hmm. um so yeah they uh if you like uh to have to constantly touch your dog and reassure your dog a border collie is for you guys so um to sum that up um all in that there i don't want to keep rambling on um those are a couple examples of why um you know if you're thinking of getting a border collie and you know you have small kids but 
you, you know, have had some dogs in the past and you are confident that you can give that dog enrichment and redirect those behaviors off of a small child, you're probably okay. If you're somebody who lives in an apartment, an apartment, but you are confident that you're just gonna spend every waking moment with your dog and everywhere you go, to class, to the bathroom, to pay your car bill, to, you know, wax your windows, I mean, <laughs> whatever it is, you're gonna bring your dog, then you can have a border collie. Um, if you don't mind being pestered and bothered all the time, then you can have a border collie. Um, see, Joker's focus and love is me. You know, he just, he's fine. As long as I'm petting him and loving him, he is fine. He is gonna be just okay in his little life. Um, I know. See, the thing is, I don't really know why. Like, I can be petting him right here and he just wants more. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but I have a husband. <laughs> you know, you're gonna have to <laughs> go find somebody your own species. So, you know, you just made me lose my remote. So yeah, you guys, um, those are a couple topics I'll cover for now. Um, I think those are the probably the most important ones. Um, living, um, home life, as far as like your house style, and then basically what you need to do with a border collie. I think those cover some most important topics because the rest of it, you guys, is just having a dog. Um, you know, if you've never had a dog, then that's probably a different story. Could you start with a border collie? Yeah, you could, but be invested, like do your research. You should be doing your research on any, any breed, you know? Um, and then dogs are individuals, you know, they're like people, like not every child's gonna come out just like wanting to be, you know, famous, like Beyonce. You know, they're probably, they might come out like and wanna own a bakery, <laughs> like my kid. So um, you just never know, you know? So they're individuals too. So not every border collie is gonna be the same and I don't think we should generalize them. Um, and you know, like, just they're not all the same so if you can get those three things to pay an attention to your dog doing everything that you possibly can with your dog giving them lots of enrichment fulfilling their life um you know just having a roof over your head is probably good enough dogs don't care you don't need to have a million dollar home and then if you have kids just make sure that you probably honestly i'll say this if you have kids don't go with a working line border collie go with like a you know like a show line Joker and Harley Quinn are show lines. So it'll probably just be easier on you and you won't have to constantly worry about like, is my dog gonna nip? Because they will nip. Now, honestly, none of mine have ever nipped, so I can't really even say that. Um, again, dogs are individuals, you guys, and I do think that they can be around children just fine, and I do think they can live in an apartment, and I do think that all this is just crazy, and they're just floofy putts, and you just need to do anything that, um, if you have any dog, from even a bulldog, you should do everything with them, and you should give them enrichment and make their life really enjoyable. All right, guys, that's it. If you love this video, go ahead and scratch the like button. And if you want to see more and become part of the pack, go ahead and bite the subscribe button. We'll be back with more. We always love doing these videos with you guys. If you have a video suggestion, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. And we're going to go play with some sushi now. All right, guys, bye. I don't see the benefits now when you've broken my trust. So I just wonder, why do I fall back to you? Really nothing I can do about it. Why do I fall back to you? It's like you're a drug to me, I can't quit It's not like we're still 22 Trying something new just to pass time I don't think that we ever could work this out None of it makes sense, there's no reason why Why I still 